rush on blue to yellow. In the position of There is a method that blue can come to the side of um, four back and bring yellow up also, so that after three, uh, two back, you can come up and peel half the ball through four back and take um, the blue ball down to three back. So that's what he's doing. It saves leaving it all to a straight triple peel. It's been successfully done. that set up right now all he has to do is be able to control two back so that he can bring the black ball back to four back so that control can be gained on getting the yellow partner ball in front of four back for the field successfully been done so he will endeavour to rush black right up to blue and yellow waiting at the full back. It's been successfully done so the object here is to put black over towards uh, penultimate so that if the peel is successful this turn he can after three back come up take the yellow over to uh, penultimate and hopefully get a peel there position to be able to peel it without stymieing himself on the backswing on the, the hoop or backswing on the ball. No, he's not too happy with that because If you can get it through and gain control down at three back to bring blue back up um, and gain a rush on yellow. Oh, that's well done. So the object here is to get blue down to three back. No, that wasn't a very good rush at all. Four peels have been done, so there's only penultimate and rover. Oh, well, he's gained control beautifully here because he can now bring blue right up to the top line here. Now he will put that to penultimate and gain a rush on the yellow, hopefully into a position that he's able to peel it. A reasonable rush has been gained on the yellow. up a little short so it'll just be 
placed it. It's always debatable whether to have a go here or to get it into a good position. Ah, no, he's got it into a very good position there. Blue should have been a little further down so that... Um, Yeah, blue should have been further down and in towards the hoop so that he could have peeled with uh, four sending yellow down after making four back here, of course. Now, does he do an Irish peel? Does he peel uh, yellow before he goes to blue? It'll all depend on the position of yellow. So he's going to blue first, so he'll be going for an Irish peel. So blue will be just placed to the side of uh, penultimate so that if So the Irish peel hopefully will push yellow down to Rover and Mr. Peg. <coughs> and he's got the blue ball waiting just on the other side of the hoop to hit. And then black will be used to go to his partner ball for the final peel. So yellow fortunately went to the side of uh, the peg and it's gone right down by Rover so this is looking really good so blue will be thrown down below uh, Rover and then he placed it uh, Alongside, he may have been stymied by uh, balls and he didn't want to uh, knock anything out of position there. It's just hard to tell with the angles he's from this distance. So he's put uh, black deeper. So here's the last peel coming up. say how close he is, whether he'll use the Irish peel or he'll just do the stop shot and then come through after it. So yellow's actually clicked to one side. So it's been successfully done. Hits black goes to hits blue goes to black, rush on yellow and a successful six double peel. Oh, he's even uh, knocked blue onto yellow to get it clear of the uh, hoop. Chris is very deceptive. He plays so quickly that um, some players take ages lining up anything and. He makes it deceptively uh, easy.